Hello, this is Bern. And if you've ever asked yourself the question, how can I experience the deepest, most profound love from a man? Because frankly, right now, I'm not feeling it. Well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you what's really required to get this feeling, not just every now and then, but sustainably for a long, long time. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a place where I share it with ambitious, conscious, driven, heart centered women how you can create the relationship of your dreams with no BS, no gimmicks, no manipulation as a result of stepping into the most feminine and the most alive version of yourself. Listen, when I connect with many different women around the world, one common theme I hear is, Burn, I'm not feeling the love. I uh, Either they're connected with a guy and they're not feeling his deep love, or they're attempting to find love in the world, and they're saying, man, I, I just can't feel it. I, I, something's missing. I'm not experiencing that depth of connection that I'm craving. So the five steps that I'll be sharing with you are an antidote to that. First step, and you're gonna probably wanna punch me in the face when I say this, but that's, in my mind, a requirement, a prerequisite to experience the deepest love from a man is to discover, understand clearly, specifically, actionably, what self-love is first, and make the commitment to experience it on a daily basis. Why is this so important? Because uh, experiencing the deep love from someone is a frequency. You, you can't experience a frequency on the outside world that you're not ready to receive from, from within uh, for many reasons. Why? Because if you experience that from the outside world and you're not necessarily knowing what that is, it's going to be too good to be true and you're going to do something subconsciously to let it go because you're going to be afraid that you're going to lose it. Why? Because if you lose it, then you, you lose your oxygen. But if you experience that self-love from within, then you're much more likely to feel it as something on par with what you have. Does that make sense? So that's the first step. And the reason why I say commit to it is because understanding what self-love is intellectually, anyone can do that. Experiencing this day in and day out through movement, through embodying what you want, through sexually connecting with yourself in a way that you feel fulfillment, through contribution, through friendship, through deepening of the mission of why you're here, that's the formula through embodying and embracing your curves, through dressing in a way that makes you feel sexy and alive. The, the self-love, the rituals, the movement, the space, the whatever you do to experience that, the commitment to it is what allows you to not just attract the kind of man you want, but also to be able to have that love be in addition to your life versus uh, the, the solution to your life. Second step is to raise the dial. Once you learn, once you discover what self-love is, once it's, you know that it's beyond looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I love you, once you know it's an action, it's a verb, it's, a, it's, a, it's the way you do life, then raising the dial, the dimmer, imagine that the dimmer is set at four and you raise it to 12. When you raise the dial, when you vibrationally, not just start tinkering in self-love, but radically embracing it, as a way of life, then you can do step number three more easily. Then I go step number three in a second. But you start understanding, not here, with every fiber of your being, what is your birthright? What is, what is your true worth? And what you're willing to take and accept in your life uh, at a base level. So, so step number three is refuse to accept Shitty offers, receive, refuse to accept low quality offers from men who are not embodying the self-love or who are giving you a lower version of what you're already experiencing. Here's the thing, if you're hungry and thirsty because you spent 50 days in the desert and somebody comes around with a shitty meal, aka McDonald's for example, <laughs> you'll take it. But if you have just gone to your favorite restaurant and you have a seven course meal and have three desserts, and then uh, the best coffee in the world, and somebody comes around with that Happy Meal, well, that Happy Meal doesn't look so happy anymore. You're gonna say, no thanks. So, 
when you experience that self-love and a man comes around with, as a shiny object experience giving you something that resembles that feeling of love but it's really not love is it doesn't really do justice to what you're looking for maybe he's a guy who wants just a hookup and you want deep love and before when you're not experiencing that deep love you may have gone for it you may have confused that shiny object for a sun but now you don't. Now you say, you know what? That's a little tiny mirror that's reflecting on the sun. It's just giving me like, it's not what I want, right? So you can refuse to accept low quality offers. Step number four, accept the highest bid from someone who is showing up in presence, in action, in energy, in pursuit, in, in, in spiritual connection. That, that's congruent to who you are now. If you're embodying a deeper level of self-love and you're saying no to shitty offers, guess what? Some offers that come your way, if you're taking action, if you're connecting with men, are gonna be high quality offers. So you choose the one that is most resonant to your life, your future, the things that are congruent and compatible with, with both. And you at this moment accept the love, the deep love you want to experience as an additional benefit to your life versus as the void that's being filled in your life. And step number five is, this is so important because I think so many women are doing this right. They embody self-love, they connect with it, they understand it, they become more radiant, they put their magic out into the world, they get an amazing guy comes around, he wants to offer them something, and then they let go of the thing that got the man to become interested in them in the first place and that got them to shine as a self-sufficient source of light in the first place. So step number five is continuing, continue deepening your self-love. However far you've gotten to the, at the point you start the relationship, that's the beginning, that's not the end. You continue deepening for the rest of your life. You continue going deeper, falling in love with your life, falling in love with, the, with who you are as a human being, with your mission, <laughs> with people around you, with uh, what you have to offer with your curves, with every part of you, not in a narcissistic way, in a way that's really doing justice to the magnificence that, that is you. So when you continue deepening in self-love, then guess what happens? That relationship now has a fucking chance of growing. If you let go of that self-love, if that's as high as you went when you first connect with a guy, then you can only go downhill from there. You'll start embodying that love from him versus just from yourself and then at some point it becomes too much of a burden from him to carry. Uh, so hope you find this helpful. Hope you find this insightful in some way. If you do, I'm gonna ask you my dear to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Be part of this movement. I'm putting out content that allows you, if you take action on it, that's a key word, take action on it, step into a higher quality of experience in love and relationships and in your own self as well. Uh, hit the little bell if you want to be notified of <laughs> new episodes, before, I mean, as soon as they come out. And most important of all, if you want to go deeper on this understanding, if you want to create a relationship with a lot less pain and a lot more fluidity than you have in the past, then there's a first line of the description of this video. You'll find a link that you can click on and hit on a masterclass, uh, it's a free masterclass. Enter your name and email, you'll start watching it right away. Now, if you've watched my videos, this makes sense to you, and you want more than just a video to help you, you want actually hand-holding of the kind that can save you three to five freaking years of trial and error, of doing the thing that is not quite right and doesn't get you the result. If you really want specific adv advice and help and mentorship, in getting to the relationship you want, then there's another link under the description of this video that will allow you to click on an application. If I feel I can help you after reading it, my assistant uh, will reach out, uh, schedule a time for us to connect, and then we'll talk. And hopefully, if we're matched to work together, <laughs> I'll help you through the process of finding what you want. Thank you so much, my dear, for connecting with me. That's always a challenge you to feel a life full of connection and full of self-love. Mwah.